Jane has made her choice, and that means Mina is our winner for this week's painting challenge. Hi, Mina. Oh, hello. <laughs> we just saw some of your paintings, and they are so colourful and beautiful. Thank and you. it looks like already you've got a ton of colour and vibrancy down. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Can you talk us through your approach to this painting? Yes, so um, I try and get the mood in with several very thin, transparent layers. And then once I've done that and pretty much all the white is gone, I feel like the painting has begun. And I'm in conversation with my work. Um, so here I'm trying to achieve brightness and light and vibrancy uh, due to the subject of the story. <laughs> so your style is very abstract, mm -hmm. which hopefully should work for this challenge, but how are you going to use your abstract style for this painting? Well, um, it is challenging, I have to say. So um, what I'm doing is I am bringing the object in, in a slight drawing, and then I'm going to edit it out. And then hopefully, by the end of that process, we will have part of the object in and part of it out, but it will mainly atmospheric. So, um, there are things that I never seem to be getting away from. So that's like drip paint, um, it's like pigments and drips and yellow, it seems to be always around. <laughs> have you had any experience of painting musical instruments or have any kind of musical inspiration at all? I paint with music on the background, but I have never really painted a musical instrument before. I love music. I relate music to rhythm and tone in colour. So with this particular subject matter, I'm thinking from a rhythmic colour. So I'm trying to think about the music in my head. So if you see me dance, <laughs> it might be because I'm playing some <laughs> in my head. But yes, I'm thinking syncopic rhythm. Hi, Mina. Hi. How are you getting on? Great. What would you say is the most important element of the story for you? Well, I picked up on music, obviously. <laughs> and we have a guitar which has passed through the generations. And to me, that means a constant movement. It means treasuring. It's gone through so many generations. So I thought of it almost as an antique object. And I tried to create that feeling of weathered. Uh, it's been through the storms and the winds of travel and generations equally. So that's what moved me. And obviously the sound, I was thinking about it more metaphorically. And um, if I had some gold leaf, I would have probably put some gold leaf on it just to make it even a bit more treasure-like. It's not a pure representation of it, but I also thought the wood and the connection of different types of woods that are, um, the guitar is made of. So it's all these lines in the fascia of the guitar made me think of people growing big and small but still staying together. So that's, um, that's what I'm depicting here. So I'm thinking this object being elevated in the storm of life and it's there as a memory to everyone who wants to have it. Here you go. You talk a lot about movement, both movement of music and the movement of the people. Yes. And is this being reflected here? Because it's so energetic. Yes, yes it is. I, uh, I think my work in general, it does get a lot of movement. And I think I like depth as well um, and sort of layers. We're um, seeing a lot of that down here, which yes. is really beautiful. So in some places, I needed to come down. And in some places, which is the foreground here, yeah. I wanted it to kind of pop up a little bit. So it's almost like, I think, in different times of day and at different times of uh, sort of light, this would look completely differently. And that's, I think, what music is like, depending sort of just give it that. It's, this painting is all about music yes. in my ear. So Amazing. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>